Hi, my name is Joanna. I'm with Texas A&M AgriLine Extension Tudel County. I'm one of the Family and Community Health County Extension agents. Today, I'm going to teach you the parts of the machine and how to thread your sewing machine. So, come on over and learn. Sewing machines, every sewing machine is different. So, I like this one. This is a beginner. The reason why I like it is because it has different options for speeding. So, this is a speed control. This is the slowest and this is fast. So, for a beginner, they would want to go slow. So this is why I really enjoy this sewing machine for beginners. Um, if you see over here, there's all different types of stitches. So some are de decorated stitches, others are just straight stitches, but you can use any of these. So this one is um, electronic, so it'll let you know. So for example, if I would like to use this beautiful star stitch, I would put 24. So I would put two, but we're getting a little ahead of our, ourselves. Um, I want to tell you about the, the parts of a sewing machine. So this is the hand wheel. So every time, if you notice when I put it down, it, the needle lifts up and it goes down. Now, when you're moving this hand wheel, it's always important to turn it towards you. So sewing machines like this, and I'm turning it this way. Alrighty. Okay, so another thing that I want to show you is this is where the the thread goes. So this is for to hold the, the spool of the thread. And I'll teach you a little bit on how to thread the machine in a while. Another thing that I would like to inform you is, you see this button? That's the back stitch. The back stitch is very important when you start to end a project. So that way the thread won't unravel. Right here is the tension. This shows you how tight the thread is. So right now I have it at three. Once you get to know your sewing machine, you'll start um, learning how tight or how loose you want your thread. Now, you see right here, this is a bobbin case. So, this is a bobbin. I'm gonna teach you how to put thread, but the bobbin is for the thread underneath. So that way, there's a top layer of, of thread and a bottom layer of thread. Now, every sewing machine is different, so, Right here, do you see this? How it drops down? It's dropping down. This is the footer. This one puts the foot down. Alrighty. Right here, under here, is some traction. So when you're sewing, the fabric automatically goes that way. So you don't have to yank it. They're called feed dogs. Right here is your needle. Do you see there's a look? You probably can't see, but each needle has an eye. And that's where we're going to stick the thread into in a while. Now we have the power, the power switch. The power switch turns on or off. So when you're not using it, it's really important to turn it off. Now, I have the foot pedal. I always leave it down here. But the foot pedal um, makes your, your needle go up and down, up and down, and makes you sew. So be careful. If you're not using it, the sewing machine should be turned off because if it's on and you press that foot pedal, it's gonna go, 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 go to thread your sewing machine. Once again, every sewing machine is different. So look at your manual. But most sewing machines will have kind of an illustration direction. So if you look at this sewing machine, it has like one, two, threes in here. So um, we're gonna teach you how to wind a bobbin. So with that, um, step one is I need to put this thread right here. And then if you notice how the, the diagram has it, it kind of crisscrosses it. And then um, I'm gonna wrap it around in the bobbin. After I do that, you'll hear a, a click or a thump. So let's hear it. Did you hear that? All right, so next, um, we're going to put my foot pedal on there and it's gonna go. Alrighty, so now it, you'll notice that the bobbin is winding. Can you see that? And we'll get back right to you once the bobbin is threaded. So now the bobbin, it's not fully thread, but it's just for purposes to teach you how to, to use this bobbin. Right here, it cuts my thread. So now I'm gonna put the bobbin right in this bobbin case. In the bobbin case, it also has a, a diagram on how to put the thread. So if you look closely right here, I don't know if you can see it, it says to put the thread this way and then come back and up. And there we go. Now, now we have to um, thread the top of it. So like I mentioned, there's different steps. Each sewing machine has a different illustration. I'm just gonna slightly tilt, cut this thread so I can put it into the, the needle. So right here's um, one, so we're gonna go to one. We're gonna find number two. 
Can you see number two? All the way down. Number three, pick it up. And then um, number four, there's a little metal in there, metal, and you just need to hook it in there. And step five is to thread this thread into the eye of the needle. So we go in there, fit. All right. So now we're going to drop our needle down so that way the thread, the top of the thread and the bottom of the thread can be picked up. Now you're ready to sew.